Okay, we're back with another question from a member. As humanitarians, we would say that our discernment and connection to our counselor is the key to success. Very short. Absolutely correct. What is your counselor? We don't really know. Could it be an angel? Could it be a relative of ours who's gone on before us? Could it be some ascended master that wants to come down because we have associations with them in previous lives? All of these things are available. I would say that the counselor is going to be somebody that you have already known and will just feel like family to you. Could be your dad, your past, or your grandfather, somebody that you love, somebody that's knowledgeable, somebody that's here to help you. Yeah, I, I think that that counselor is going to be very, very useful for you. Now, let's not get this all mixed up. Your counselor is not going to tell you what to do. You don't get to go to your counselor and say, should I have this person as my managing director for this CAC, or excuse me, the director for this CAC? Do you think he's going to give you an answer? What would he do if he was giving you an answer? He's taking over your responsibility. You're the one that's supposed to be asking, asking him, and that's just a conversation. Well, what do you think? Well, this is these are the things that I feel are, are why I would choose this person. And if you come up to the right results of that with the same, with the proper thought processes, then I'll say, well, I I can I like your thinking. I think you're doing a good job with that. Or there. There may be some others that'll come along. Uh, keep searching, and uh, but it's it's not their job. It's not their responsibility to tell you things. The alliances they they give me confirmation when I come to the right conclusion, but they don't tell me stuff. I get angry when they don't tell me stuff. They don't care if I get angry because they know that if they tell me stuff and other people know that I know. And those other people may not be the ones I want to have involved in my life. So they don't tell me everything. And your counselor is not going to tell you everything. But your counselor is there to counsel with. Counsel, not instruct. And there's a difference there. <clears throat> and it's essential that you understand that difference. The more you understand that difference, the more you understand what the counselor is going to be. Many of our loved one society people have already had their counselor come and visit them. And why wouldn't they? going to have to wait until your ascent or your uh, redemption appointment they already know who you are they, they already know you're going to be they're now they're not in time they're out of time and so we're waiting for us to get to the right time when they can introduce themselves but if you gain the position where you can start receiving revelations. You know, I don't know who's going to be first, Jesus or, or your counselor. I don't know who's first. doesn't matter. Jesus is just a snap of the fingers away. If you shift a little bit too fast, then you might even feel him. It's that close. He's that close to us. Your counselor 
has already been assigned to you. It's your job, can be if you want it, find out who it is. Ask and it shall be given. Doubt not, fear not, but be believing. Now, if it just comes to you on your mind and you think, hmm, I wonder if that's true. And you got it in your mind after having a question. Don't doubt it. Just let it be true. It's so simple. Don't doubt it. Well, my, and you don't go talking to other people about it. My counselor is Jesus or my counselor is Nephi or, or Lehi or if you're familiar with that or Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, whomever it might be. Okay. Your, that counselor will know who you are and you're entitled to have a visitation from them anytime you want. Just know that you can do it. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself when you've got a promise that what you hear and believe in, and close the door to any doubts about it, if that's what you get when you ask, then that's the answer. And don't doubt it. If it's wrong, who cares? Everything will turn out for the best good for those that love God. That's the way it is. That's the way the promise works. I hope you get a chance to talk to your counselor before it comes. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, Ron, very good. Excellent, excellent answer. We are going to come back here in a sec with another question from a member. 